Hey guys, it's Gadget Guy. I'm here to show you my clear kayak. I'm going to show you all the details of it, some video of it, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is a skin over frame design. Uh, first used, um, believed to be used by the Inuits, um, and they were made out of whale bones, and they were covered with seal skin. And uh, this is a design that uh, picked up my eye because uh, it's just a very sleek looking boat. It's uh, performance is supposed to be really good, which I concur ever since I've used it. Uh, it just cuts through the water. It's very fast, um, very efficient design. Um, I saw many of these online and I chose to, uh, to do this one. This is a sea kayak, it's 18 foot six which I uh, used uh, the math kind of in my head to figure out, well, uh, I'm a 200 pound guy, I need to be able to float this thing. And I see other people and they say how long theirs are. So I just kind of did some math and figured out what I needed to have width and length and all that to make enough so that the uh, craft would float me. And, uh, and it does very well. So uh, I'm just gonna give you some little round shots and kind of let you see what's involved in making something like this. Uh, it took a little bit of time. I got about 45, maybe 50 hours in this. Everything was uh, stained and, and hand painted before I covered it. Uh, this is covered in Isinglass. Uh, the Isinglass is, uh, I don't quite remember what the uh, thickness was, but Isinglass was a, uh, a good choice, in my opinion, for uh, showing off the woodwork, uh, the craftsmanship that goes into something like this. Um, Every detail, I mean, you can't hide anything. So uh, when you have something that's exposed like that, it's just kind of like a piece of art, useful piece of art actually. And uh, it's really gotten a lot of uh, interest from people over the years that I've owned it after I built it. And I uh, wanted to share it with you and, and see if you guys had any other questions about it. I know some of you do. Uh, it's very slim in, the, in this area here and it widens out in the combing area and uh, some of the design aspects that uh, were put into it for travel or this flat deck area here with two supports that uh, for luggage and things like that or if you you know were hunting and you had to bring something back I imagine that's a platform that they use for that uh, the front also has the same type of design again there's usually some kind of a strap system here I had chose not to because I wanted the clean look and uh, so this is it so the combing Looks a little small. Again, I'm 200 pounds. I'm six foot two. Uh, I can squeeze in and out of there. It's not uh, terribly hard. Just make sure if you make something like this, your hips fit in between the combing and your legs and knees get through this section as well. Um, not terribly comfortable. So when I take it out, I use padding and I use a, a back support on the back here. Um, but it's very basic. And uh, to me, uh, I, I did it. I built it because I was just so interested, and, and it uh, it just to me looked like a functioning piece of art. And uh, ever since I've made it, it's been a few years. Uh, I keep it as a piece of art. Uh, I've had people want to buy it, and uh, I turned them down because I just think that this is something that reminds me of um, you know how creative somebody can be. And um, as you get older, you don't want to put this kind of effort into things as much. If I find uh, so, it's it's just a little harder to to you know get rid of something like this for me because it's uh something i spent some time with my son he helped me do it and uh has a little bit of meaning to me and uh, i really do enjoy uh, working with my hands and, and this is kind of a testament of of that and uh again this was built with no plans but uh if you go online and look around I, there's a gentleman's name is tom yost uh that designed uh, this particular design uh, not this particular one because i had to do this one basically by um, using my eyes and some like a video like this where somebody just showed one off and I kind of looked at it and stopped it frame by frame and analyzed and tried to figure out what measurements things would be and, and uh, use some other measurements from other sea kayaks that I'd seen in person not technically a sea kayak that was built like this but uh, you know sea, sea kayaks in general but you, as you can see it's a pretty pretty nice looking design and again it takes nothing away from who designed it originally. This is Tom Yost's design, absolutely, without a doubt. Um, but this is just my rendition of it. Again, I, uh, I, I, my hat's off to the guy. It's, it's a beautiful design.
All right, guys, if you would, hit like. And if you want to see other, other videos like this, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.